Hello and welcome and today we are here for the second installment of my newest series that I have on the channel and that would be the cover reveal roundup. So these are going to be for all the covers in the month of November. Now I would like to say that I did listen to a couple of the recommend, not recommendations, but the feedback that I received on the first video. So where those suggestions can be applied, they will be applied. I am always open for more suggestions, but the basic layout of the video actually went over pretty well and a lot of people liked it. So I will be continuing with that style for the remainder of this series since the point of the series is to highlight book covers. With that said, let's go ahead and let's jump into the cover reveals from the month of November. Kraken Rider Z by David Estes and Dirk Ashton. Publisher is Wraithmarked Creative. The artist is Daniel Kamarudin. The publication date is November 14th, 2023. I really love the way this cover looks. Also, dragons are scared of krakens in this book, and I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of here for that. The Daughter's War by Christopher Buhlman. This is the prequel to The Black Tongue Thief. This is being published by Tor Books. The artist is Marie Bergeron. The publication date is June 25th, 2024. Look, I love the simplicity for color choices on this cover. That red pops, but then all them dead bodies. I'm intrigued. Asunder by Kirsten Hall. This is being published by Tor.com. The artist is Greg Ruth, and the publication date is August 20th, 2024. The cover is really soft and really pretty, and I feel like it's the opposite of what the story is about, so I'm going to tell you a little bit. A death speaker who has a pact with an eldritch entity that allows her to speak to the newly departed. Such odds, so I'm interested. These Deathless Shores by P.H. Lowe. The publisher is Orbit. The artist is Anna and Elena Balbuso. And the publication date is July 9th, 2024. Last month, I shared with you guys the UK cover. Now I'm bringing you guys the US cover since it was just released. I'm still not sure if I'll be picking this one up, but I do think I like this cover variation a little bit more. And here is both covers side by side, so you can make your decision. Glass Houses by Madeline Ashby. The publisher is Tor Books. The artist is Zoe Van Jick. The publication date is August 13th, 2024. This is surprisingly sci-fi. And the tagline says it's for fans of Glass Onion and Black Mirror. I haven't watched neither, so I don't know if I'll like it, but I do think it's a really clean looking cover. Someone You Can Build a Nest In by John Wiswell. The publisher is Daw. Artist is James Fenner. The publication date, February 20th, 2024. Not gonna lie, I was interested in this up until I read Monster Slaying Fantasy Romance. I might wait until after it's been out and try it, but I did hear it is from the monster's point of view, so that is intriguing. It's also queer, but again, fantastic looking cover. Sing Me to Sleep by Gabby Burton. Publisher, Hotter and Stoughton. Artist, Fernanda Suarez. Publication date, June 4th, 2024. This is the UK paperback cover and once again, another beautiful cover featuring a beautiful black woman. I love seeing more and more of these covers. Also, maybe now I won't get this one confused with the lies we sing. Also, the artist will be making the US paperback cover, which is yet to be released. The Mercy of Gods by James S.A. Corey. This is the first in a new series called The Captive's War. This is being published by Orbit. The artist is Daniel Doku. The publication date, August 2024. This is an intriguing cover. I don't look at synopsises, but I'm willing to try this series based on the cover and the title alone. But I also know that these two are a very well-known author duo. So I've got a feeling it'll do pretty well next year. The Girl with No Reflection by Keshi Chow. Publisher, Delacorte Press. Artist, Victor Nagy. Publication date, August 2024. I don't know much about this book aside from the fact that it is YA and that I think this cover is absolutely drop dead gorgeous and I think it's going to be one of those ones that really pops when people have it on their shelves. Compass and Blade by Rachel Greenlaw. The publisher is Harper Fire. The artist is Nico Delort. The publication date is for February 29th, 2024. I randomly came across this cover reveal on Instagram and was instantly pulled in by the scene being conveyed. This is the UK cover, which I do happen to find to be more enticing than the US cover. And here is a look at both covers side by side. While I think they are both pretty, I've always been more drawn to a cover that shows a scene as opposed to just some words on a cover. 
but again, they are both pretty. It's just a matter of what you prefer. The Enchanted Lies of Celeste Artois by Ryan Grodden. Publisher is Red Hook. The artist is Von Brooklyn. The publication date is August 27, 2024. If I'm being personally honest here, I do not like this cover. It's nice looking, but it's not something that I'm going to initially like be pulled into. I do know the story is about con artists and thieves that are set in the 1900s Paris, so maybe that's your jam. Defender. This is the seventh book in the Dark Blade series by Andy Peliquin. This is a self-published series. The artist is Luciano Fletas. The publication date is November 28th, 2023. This series has amazing covers, but each book is like 600 plus pages and for some reason I am still very intimidated by it. The Silver Blood Promise. This is the first in a new series called The Last Legacy. This is by James Logan. The publisher is Tor Books. The artist is Jeff Brown. Publication date is for May 7th, 2024. I am so hyped for this one. This follows Lucan, a disgraced heir to a noble family, as he sets out to uncover the mystery behind his estranged father's murder. His journey takes him to the city of Saffrona, where everything has a price and truth is the deadliest of all. I love this cover. I love the way the book sounds. I'm predicting this is going to be a five star for me next year. And if it's not, I'm going to be upset about that. The Hidden Guardian. This is book three in Ranger of the Titan Wilds by J.D.L. Russell. This is a self-published series. The artist is Felix Ortiz and the publication is for 2024. This is another fantastic cover for this fantastic series. If you have not read anything by J.D.L. Russell yet, you need to go out and do that because he is a fantastic writer. So I am definitely looking forward to getting to the third book in this series. Sleep Like Death by Kaylin Byron. Publisher is Bloomsbury Publishing. The artist is Fernanda Suarez. Publication date is for June 25th, 2024. Another beautiful cover. What I do like is how similar the US and the UK covers are for this book. There are only slight differences between the two, but I like the softer look of the UK edition. This is a Snow White retelling and going off of what others seem to think could possibly be set in the same world as Byron's other book, Cinderella is Dead. And here we have a look at both the UK and the US cover. As you can see, they have a ton of similarities, but they do express a slightly different emotion inside of each one. They're both very pretty, but I am drawn to the UK one more. Which is your favorite? In the Shadow of Their Dying by Michael R. Fletcher and Anna Smith Spark. This is being published by Grimdark Magazine. The artist is Carlos Diaz. Publication date is for March 19th, 2024. I am keeping my fingers crossed. I get approved for the arc for this one because I am in love with this cover. So to give you a little detail about the book, the third best assassin, a second rate mercenary crew, one terrifying demon. As Sharam crumbles under siege, a mercenary crew hires an assassin to kill the king. A House with Good Bones by T. Kingfisher. The publisher is Tora Nightfire. Artist is Stephen Mulcahy and publication date is May 2024. So it took me a little bit of digging to figure out that this was the paperback cover release for this book. And all I have to say is that it's a weird little cover and I don't really understand the turkeys, but yeah, it's an interesting guy to look at. I'm Afraid You've Got Dragons by Peter S. Beagle. Publisher is SNS Saga Press. The artist is Justine and Annie Gerard. The publication date is May 14th, 2024. This cover is freaking amazing and I love every single inch of it. I don't need to know anything about this book. It's by the same guy who did The Last Unicorn and I love that story with all of my heart. So you best believe I will be getting my hands on this little beauty. Running Close to the Wind by Alexandra Rowland. The publisher is Tor.com. The artist is Christine Fultzer and the publication date is June 11th, 2024. So another cover that I'm not really fond of, there's something about the color combinations with the overly simplistic design that just isn't clicking for me and doesn't call out to me. I also don't have the best track record with Roland's work, so I'm most likely going to be skipping this, but I have heard that this is hailed as something fans of Our Flag Means Death will enjoy. Moonstorm by Yoon Ha Lee. The publisher is Solaris Books. The artist is Martin Stiff. And the publication date is for June 2024. When I initially saw this, I thought, ooh, space opera, epic adult sci-fi. 
But turns out this is a YA. So that's an interesting direction because this style is more commonly used in the adult sci-fi books. So I'm interested to see how this goes over with everybody once it's released. Black Tide Sun. This is book two in the Winter Sea series by H.M. Long. The publisher is Titan Books. The artist is Julia Lloyd. The publication date is for July 1st, 2024. So this is one of those covers that really does absolutely nothing for me. It's just some weapons and some words and doesn't tell me anything. So unfortunately, I'm not a fan of this cover, but I do know that this particular author is pretty popular and I know that there has been a big interest in this series. So there you go. Check out the cover. In the Shadow of the Fall, the first in a new series called Guardians of the Gods. This is by Toby Ungaderen. The publisher is Tor.com. The artist is Godwin Ockpen. The publication date is for July 23rd, 2024. This is another one I'm very excited for and one that I really love the cover of. It invokes a scene. There's these three strong, powerful looking women. We've got storms in the background. I am curious. I have questions. I want answers. I want to know. So let me tell you guys a little bit about this book. Ashake is an acolyte waiting for the day she becomes a full priest and can go out into the world to serve her Orisha. But there's just one problem. The Orisha have refused to speak to her. While performing the rite of summoning, she experiences a vision so terrible it destroys the device in a blaze of fire, draws the attention of a powerful enemy sect, and thrusts Ashake into the center of a cascading event that will shatter the very foundations of her world. Navigational Entanglements by Aliette D. Bodard. The publisher is Tor.com, the artist is Shi Hong, and the publication date is for July 30th, 2024. This is such an eye-catching cover, a new novella that brings space opera and Jean Ji style martial arts together. Definitely piqued my interest. Key Lime Sky by Al Hess. This is being published by Angry Robot. The artist is Karen Smith, and the publication date is for 2024. I'm really digging that retro style that this cover has going on. Apparently, this involves an alien invasion, and the only person who seems to remember it is a disgruntled pie aficionado. You can always count on Angry Robot for having weird little books. Witch Queen of Red Winter. This is the third and final book in the Red Winter Chronicles. This is by Ed McDonald. The publisher is Tor Books, the artist is Galen Dara, and the publication date is for 2024. I really like the covers for this series. There's something about the art style that's just very captivating, and when you see them in person, they're even prettier. I own the first book, still haven't read it yet, but I am familiar with McDonald's work, so I will be wanting to read this considering I do own the first book. But yes, another cover that I think is absolutely fantastic to look at. And that is everything. So once again, thank you for tuning in and watching. If you have any comments, go ahead and drop them down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.